flammable. Forget which, doesn't matter. Get it done fast, Edie. Hostiles coming. So just we prepare. Trouble ahead.
accomplished. I need to finish the download before I can override any systems. Then you better get it done fast, Edie. Hostiles coming. Suggest we prepare. Heads up! Get it done fast, Edie. Hostiles coming. Suggest we prepare. Heavy fire imminent. Ow. Here we go. Get it done fast, Edie. Hostiles coming. Suggest we prepare. Oh! 
us out of here. I am simultaneously fighting collector firewalls in over 8,000 nodes. Fantastic capacity. Another way. Ah! Oh, Done fast, Edie. Hostiles come. I mean, suggest we prepare. Trouble ahead. Get it done fast. Ask Dee Dee. Hostiles coming. Suggest we prepare. Trouble ahead. Get it done fast, Edie. Hostiles coming. Suggest we prepare. Heavy fire. Get ah! Get it done fast, Edie. 
Hostiles coming. Suggest we prepare. Get ready to fight. Suggest we prepare. Hostiles! Taking fun. Ah! Connection reestablished. I need to finish the download before I can override any systems. Then you better get it done. Hostiles coming. Suggest we prepare. Heads up!
I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The Collector's with the source. It is unusual. It seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. Behavior within norms for Cerberus, not unexpected. No, the commander's right. There must be some other explanation. Uh, commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Nicely. 
reach the target. Here we go. I need to let this through. Incineration tech. Now that one. She do the trick.
must be getting close to the end. This should come in handy. Enemies in front! Commander, we have to go. You heard the man. Everybody on to the Normandy. Move! Strap in, people! I'm gonna make them work for it this time. Forever eating. 
Get us the hell out of here! Specify a destination, Mr. Moreau. Anywhere that's not here! Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. She also discovered that the Turian distress signal originated from the collectors. There's no way you thought it was real. Without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The collectors couldn't have anticipated her. Just tell me it was worth the trouble. It was. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Tough choice. Continue to build up the team or go investigate the derelict Reaper? It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you.
I hope we can clear. Was there anything else? Just even. I'm more interested. Already? Just... Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the Collector ship. Thank An goodness. An AI on board is proving to be very useful. The elusive man, anyway. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah. They build their equipment to last. Assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. When we start a mission, we finish it. Yeah, okay. Let's get on the ground.
Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving. But alive. Usually. like this facility went rogue. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. I remember escaping the room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking. I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. Security Officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. We won't find any answers standing around. Right. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. Nothing can stop me. Can I Coming in close. 
for me. They need a morgue. This was a small facility. A lot of children died here. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. Strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit, it's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. It's about to get <clears throat> shields have failed. Two-way mirror? My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. I'm Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up, we are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. This whole place was built to turn you into what you are. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on. Harder and tougher. I'll take it. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Telton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's ascension program. 
Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. You couldn't have known. Maybe. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Hey, Arash. It's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. Then I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. You're in my way. Get them! Kill them on my own! I want them dead! The only room left is my old cell. Whoever Arresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question. And I'm still looking for the answer. Why did you come back? I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew. How to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it?
You'd do the same thing to new kids. Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How'd you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that! <laughs> Killing him won't help you or my mission. Stand down. It will help me. I gave you an order. This is my call! Don't tell me how to deal with my past! Nobody tells me what to do, Shepard. If you're done here, let's plant the bomb and get out. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. bumped into Zaid recently. Still, anyway. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Does knowing how the Protheans fell tell us anything useful about how to stop the Collectors or the Reapers? Not yet. More useful as motivation. Effects on Protheans more than indoctrination, body modification. No self-preservation instinct. Old injuries not healed, no reproduction, just cloning. Technology overriding biology, not augmenting. No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for Reapers. Protheans dead, Collectors just final insult. <sighs> Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. 
personal interest negligible, sang a little, multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. What is it about the Collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight, technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Ratnai. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Shepard, how can I have help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at moment. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. No messages for you, Commander.
captain of the ship. I detect no life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Repeat, toxology alert. Danger of... From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. My father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gurn's back? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Oh. 
hunters. They won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! I've seen <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Target them! <laughs> <laughs> someone who can make sense of this. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. Is this an earlier stage, or did the exile make the others violent? Why is everyone here female? Can't be a coincidence. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face not the best reaction to the family resemblance jacob why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food whatever's happening here needs to stop look at these spoiled food stores they've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long like that wasn't obvious enough i can't talk to you go away he has a cruel face his cruel he keeps us the he is bad he has a bad face like the other like him. You'll hurt me. That are a little much against this bunch. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob. What does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. 
And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. So why call for help now? The surviving males are changing. Everything he did is coming back to bite him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Free. He's covering his ass. The old corpse has been posed, like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Plenty of choices. The late of the day. Ah! has been posed, like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting. Here we're done! Hostile forces have engaged. Impact enemy. Mark it down! He had plenty of choices. Late to blame his victim. The old corpse has been posed, like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Missile put them down. 
over here. Now he wants out. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Can't reach the target.
You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Now everyone knows everything. I want to hear you try and justify this. You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol... They couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got... Tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the Hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here... It seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. The price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his max. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. We can guess. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! Alliance ships are inbound to pick up.
backup survivors, Commander. We can be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, We'll Shepard. talk later. Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right. Anything else? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything.
can't get a lock. Point to cover. Oh, can't target them. Can't get a lock. Can't target them. Reach the target. Can't get a look. Overload deployed. Can't reach the target. Can't get a lock!
How may I help you? Is there you anything, have, um, anything else, Command? I'll be here. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Can't reach the target. See anyone else here? Going to cover! Ah! Can't get along! Oh. That did it. was harmless, did you? Oh! 
matter. I don't know who the hell you think you are, but step one foot on the bridge and you'll pray for a quick death. <laughs> Reach the target. Just burn through any armor. Can't target them. to be a way in. That did it. Come on. 